Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you're all doing well. Sorry for my absence yesterday. Um, I have another commitment on Mondays, but um, I will try to make sure that I am here for you guys. So yeah, if you're new, please do hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Um, hello everyone in the chat. So keep in mind as usual, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take a fifth, leave the rest, and personal reading links and everything else you need is in the description box below this video. Um, all right, so I am here every evening, Sunday through Thursday, 10.30 p.m. Eastern. And on Thursdays, I do your weekend reading. So if you're new and you don't know, definitely subscribe to my channel or you can join and get early access to my readings here on YouTube before they go live and are published to the public. Okay, enough about this, Virgo. <laughs> I'm just gonna like make a little thing right down here, like a, like I'm trying to point, like a little ticker tape that you guys could just read. <laughs> All right, let's get into this. This is gonna be your love reading for October. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. What are the messages for Virgo? And shout out to the new mods, Persephone, Steve, Melly. Um, say hello, everybody. Um, okay, let's see. Virgo's love messages for October. What does Virgo need to know? What should they be looking out for for the rest of October? Okay, hand of cards, wow. Taking a chance, taking a risk on something here, Virgo, being strategic, options, not showing your hand, um, maybe some gambling, okay. So that could be you, could be another person, but there's definitely, it could be both, but there is an energy here of like, you got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away. And know when to run, <laughs> Virgo. You know what? Let me tell you something. Maybe you're dealing with someone's name is Kenneth. Some of you might need to be like making a decision here. You're either gonna like take a chance with somebody or they're gonna take a chance with you, but there's like, you're not saying anything. You're not showing your hand, keeping your cards close to your chest. Okay, let me see. All right, not enough. Frustrated in a relationship. Lack of confidence, self sabotager fear, ego issues, and jealousy. Wow, all right. So somebody here is not showing that they don't feel worthy of something anymore. And, okay, you just heard that bell. Um, I feel like somebody's here looking at their options being strategic, not showing what they're doing. But there is an energy here of being frustrated in, in a relationship. Somebody does not feel confident. Um, they have a lot of jealousy going on right now. And I feel like if this is another person, Virgo, this person is kind of, um, they know they need to take a chance with you. They know they need to, to risk it, okay? Um, they're not saying anything though. They're kind of, I don't know if they're plotting and scheming or something, but the frustration in some type of con relationship, this person is frustrated with more so self because they don't seem to have the confidence to, <sighs> they're stuck. It's like now or never. It's now or never. That song that I just so gloriously sang for you is really telling because I feel like somebody's here like, yeah, I either got to fold and walk away or I got to take a risk here, take a big gamble with Virgo, okay? And, and some of you might be in this energy as well. Let me see. Somebody might just feel like, you know, I don't have enough cards to get the win. Uh, there, there's a lot on the plate. There's a lot on this. Per there's a lot of. There's a lot on this person's. They're sitting at the poker table and they're looking around and they're trying to get a sense and trying to figure out is is there is is Virgo bluffing or is something like is it not going to be a win or should I risk this? Should I because they don't know. Okay, somebody doesn't know. 
All right, heartbroken, someone's deeply hurt, sad about a separation or a breakup, feels lost, grieving and mourning. Gosh, goodness gracious. What is going on here, Virgo? Okay. Um, yeah, this, this is just, I feel this energy so strong that somebody here is just not sure what to do. Do they walk away? Do they do they fold, walk away, get out of the game? Or do they take a risk and just put it out there and see what happens? Okay, let's see what this energy is here. What other energies are playing out here? I don't, there's a breakup of some sort or a separation that's happening right now. Somebody's definitely feeling lost without you and they're grieving this loss. They don't wanna feel uncomfortable, but they know that they gotta do something or it's just walk out or walk away for good. Walk away for good. Make it or break it. I'm hearing make it or, it's a make or break situation now. Okay, three of, three of cups. So th there's somebody here, they're consulting with, they're consulting, they're consulting with others. Um, I feel like this person could be dating other people or socializing with other romantic options, because they did say options in the beginning, but at the same time, they're distracted by their dreams and thoughts of you. Okay, Eight of Cups. There's a temp this temporary separation. I feel like some this person might be, you know, talking with other people, but it kind of feels like they're all cookie cutter. They're all exactly the same. It's not really satisfying. You're the wish, the, the unattainable wish and dream for them. But this person is like holding back um, because they don't know if you are folding. They're not sure. I don't know why this person doesn't know what's going on. Um, and mostly it's because holding cards to, their ch to the chest, it could be Virgo, you are in a position where you're not showing your hand. You're not letting anything out about how you feel, about what you want, about where, where you're headed, what you're doing, your plans, anything about a connection that's in a separation. And this person is kind of like, they've got people around them, one, two, three, others. There's definitely others that surrounds this person. It could be more, it could be groups of people or just certain number of specific, but it's like at the same time, even in um, an atmosphere where there's others, you know, they're like not even paying attention because you're the one who's like at a distance. You're the one who's like unattainable. Like you're, I don't know how to explain it, but when I look at this card, I just feel like somebody is standing here looking out like wishes and hopes, you know, um, looking for that ninth cup, which is you, right? The ninth cup always represents wishes coming true. And the, and the ninth cup is singular. So that's like proposal, marriage. I feel like this person is really in this place where, you know, they've got maybe others just kind of, uh, I, it's not this. It's this is more of a card of social or people that they call friends or acquaintances that kind of like give them a sense of like not feeling alone or abandoned. Um, but these people, they're not you. Uh, this, they're not you. Okay. Uh, somebody here might be thirty-eight. These people. Even friends, family members, they could be consulting with them, but I don't see anything here. I mean, the three is communication, so that could be an element of like um, communicating about how to come back into harmony with you or how to get into harmony with you in some way, birthing some ideas with the three and, you know, talking to them, possibly, very few, but for the most part, I feel like, yeah, this person's got others that are like kind of in their periphery, but... 
they're all cookie cutter, one in the same, and it's like, no, this person wants you, Virgo. You are the one they want to be with. But they have a lack of confidence, or they don't really, yep, see? Ace of Wands. I mean, their passion is so strong for you, Virgo. I mean, this person gets... Um, <laughs> They get juiced up when they think about you, Virgo, you know? Um, I don't care what your, your sex is. They're just getting juiced up here. This Ace of Wands, like this person is very passionate, hot to trot for you. Um, and I don't know if it's, you guys aren't like communicating with each other, but it's kind of like growing, um, building this passion to connect you know, their passions go before their um, their struggle, their con their lack of confidence or their fear. I think this person fears losing you. They have a great fear. And the passion is what is, well, I don't know if it's predictive that they're going to try to restart or start something here with you. You know, that there's an urge. They feel like restless. There's an urge. They're in, they feel like inspired to have some kind of growth or they're getting <laughs> a whole heck of a lot of growth with thoughts of you or dreams or imaginings, you know, visions, things like that. Let me see. Okay, King of Swords. Hey, look, you guys, King of Swords is back. You know, when I first started my channel, it was nonstop. The Emperor kept showing up nonstop. Okay, so this person is showing up in this King of Swords energy, air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, no emotion here, more logic. Um, and I feel like this person is being very strategic at this time, um, thinking thinking the thoughts about what's going on with them uh, really discerning you know trying to oh okay hold on a minute that's strange you just gave me so looking at this sword they just gave me this reflection uh, uh, just they're showing me now a lighthouse oh, a beam I feel like this person trying to get your attention they're thinking of ways to get your attention I'm just seeing like a lighthouse well at first at first they showed me this sword with reflective light coming off of it and it just kind of then they gave me a lighthouse so they're saying that this person is trying to find ways to you know hold that flashlight or that that reflection in the dark uh so you can it's like getting a t get it trying to like say hey i'm over here i'm over here uh but it's not like they're doing it i feel like this person is thinking about ways just to get you to look in their direction if you're not looking in their direction all right there's definitely strategizing something here definitely and they've got some kind of a plan definitely and we'll see um how this is going to turn out fully because i'm going to do an extended reading on this just to kind of get an idea go a little bit deeper what's going on but i see this person definitely sending out sos the bat signal all of that try to get you to see them so you don't forget about them if you if you've forgotten about them um or if you're just if you've either forgotten about them or if you just don't want to think about them that's something that i feel like this person is yeah they they don't want you to forget <laughs> they don't want you to go away they don't want you to walk away um you know the more i feel like you and this person are in separation the more longing seems to be happening here with this person okay wow four of pentacles in the reverse so that's basically like opening up for sure um oh i'm dropping stuff um this person is really becoming vulnerable to their emotions they feel bankrupt they feel broke they feel like the very poverty mindset 
Okay, now here's the caveat, and I have to say this. If this relationship ended for a reason, as all relationships do, this person might just be having a tremendous, like I said, fear and ego. They could have a tremendous amount of anxiety and maybe trying to get you to comfort them based on the decision that they made to end something or if they forced you to walk away. It's not so much regret, I feel, as it is more like they're uncomfortable with the decision that they made or that you decided and just said to yourself, okay, bye, <laughs> and just moved on. And now they're having anxiety because I don't know if this person felt like, you know, honestly, the Eight of Cups, not honestly, the Eight of Cups can be a card of temporary separation. This person is kind of like in under the impression that you're going to just come back or have some kind of cycle repeat. And even though they have distractions or others around them, there is a sense that they may be waiting for you to return because that might have been a thing, uh, a pattern, a repeat, wash, rinse, repeat kind of thing. And um, I feel like that's why they're trying to send out that bat signal because it looks like you might not be trying to come back to something here. And that, that could be the reason for this heartbreaking, um, somebody feeling sad or, you know, it's crazy because it's just like if someone ends something with you or gives you reason to not pursue a relationship or reject something and then gets upset that you're not chasing it, it's just so arrogant. You know, it's like, even if that person just kind of faded away in your life and is now mad that you are not trying to get them back, I mean, that's just, it's very childish. It's, you know, it's kind of like, you know, you got to sit down and talk about stuff. So that Four of Pentacles, this person is like, I don't know if they're kicking themselves or what's going on, but they are very frustrated at this time uh, maybe they thought things were gonna just they could keep doing what they're doing and i feel like virgo is like no yeah there's the three of swords yeah they're super heartbroken that's twice here this person if you don't want to believe me don't believe me that's up to you but this person is definitely in a position there might have been for some there could have been a third party situation when i say third party it's interference. It could be person, people, places, or things that um, got in the middle of a connection, okay, or a relationship, or there was just some kind of a split, I feel. Um, yeah, that's sad. That is sad, Virgo. Um, and if it wasn't a third party situation that you know of, I mean, I feel like this, I do feel like this person, um, they may feel like you have somebody else as well. Um, but I'm kind of looking at them. I don't know if you do. We'll take a look at you in just a minute, but I feel like there's just like a lot of darkness around this person and they're doing anything well, they're doing indirect direct is what I feel like with this um, lighthouse maneuver, this trying to get you to like, you know, and you're like, no, don't go to the light. <laughs> they're trying to like shine that light to just kind of draw you back in like a moth to a flame. But it's it's not saying anything. Uh, they're just basically holding up that <laughs> that sword. Like, you know, you see the reflection on this. It's it's there's light here. Come this way. Yeah, I just kind of get a sense it's more of an indirect, direct approach. It's not direct where there's a reach out and there's communication and this person try, you know, have that conversation and have the talk or work things out, resolve some issues. They're just trying to get you to go in their direction. I don't know, if, because this person has a, an extreme lack of confidence um, insecurity, they have fear, they have ego issues, they suffer from jealousy, and I wouldn't say um, possession, 
I, I'd say it's more, uh, they don't, I'm not seeing possession because I don't feel like, I feel like this person is also very wise and that King of Swords energy is that they know that they can't, they don't harm, um, they, they don't covet you. They know that you're not theirs. So they're not being possessive, but they are trying to like kind of bring you back in their direction. Okay. But it's like secretive kind of with not showing that hand. So some of you might be noticing some things. If you're not already noticing things, you might be noticing things in October where it's like suspicious or it's you know a little sketch like you kind of get a feeling or you think that some like there's something odd that's connected to this person but you're not sure um if your mind's playing tricks on you or if somebody else is doing something um or like and i'm talking along the lines of like weird phenomenon that's happening you might be able to label it but it's coming from this person, uh, you know, like at a distance or by proxy. Okay, wow. This person is like really down and out with this Five of Swords. They feel abused. This person feels like, uh, I don't know if that's out of context. Maybe, maybe they have a right to feel this way. Um, but that Five of Swords is like, whew, there's anger there. This is like, um, gosh, I hate to say this, Virgo, but this person feels like you're trying to one up them. And it might not be that at all. Just remember when someone has a lack of confidence or they're insecure, everything goes back to them. People, somebody could be walking by and not pay attention to them and they think it's personal. And it might not, they might not even know that person, but there's a lot, there's like a deep insecurity with this person. So they, they feel like you're trying to, because the five of swords is kind of like shutting it, like a, it's like a shutout, like in a, like in a sports game when one team is like, you know, 50 points and the other team's only two. This person feels like, um, you know, you're trying to like one up them or shut them or just make them feel bad. Um, let me see. Yeah, they feel like, um, hmm. all right, two messages. They feel like you're breadcrumbing, like the tables have turned. So this person feels like you're breadcrumbing them. Whereas they're also realizing, see, the reason why they're feeling this way is because they're projecting what they did onto you. So this person is <laughs> also opening up and realizing, uh-oh, um, tables have turned now. Virgo is breadcrumbing me. Now, maybe you are, maybe you're not. I don't fully know, but all I can tell you is this is what's coming from them. It's not only what they think is happening with you from you to them, but it's also them having this like opening up the heart. You see how this is blocked, right? Um, in the upright and reversed, it's like opening up the heart and saying, oh man, I think this person is beginning to understand that they're questioning themselves at this stage of um, this separation. They're questioning themselves. They're actually taking a look at themselves, okay? And they're going, they're back and forth. They have a little bit of like, okay, no, it's all Virgo's fault. And now, and also they're like, but wait, maybe it's my fault. Or maybe it was both of us. Or maybe it was just became a very toxic relationship between us and we could never get it right. Okay, let's take a look at you, Virgo. I can tell you though that th this person is having their, they're going through it. They're going through it. Let me see you. What's your energy here, Virg? Okay. So Virgo, you have the Eight of Pentacles. Like you're not, I don't see you trying to do anything to anyone. I feel like you're just really focused on your commitments, your priorities, the things that you're doing in your life. Some of you might be in school studying or you're doing your career, work, banking, all that stuff. Like your, your priorities are, these are things that need your intention. Some of you are like just keeping yourself busy by polishing your coins or your jewelry. Distraction, distraction, okay? You, um, this feels to me like a very much, very focused on 
everything else going on in your life and nothing else outside, nothing else around you. Okay. Let me see. Some of you just doing the dishes, listening to this reading or doing your chores or, you know, just very focused on what's exactly in front of you. Some of you are, um, you're, you're, you've delved into some projects and some things that you're doing. Um, either you're doing that now or you're something you're getting into more in October being very consistent okay I've got a king of wands okay some of you might have someone presently in your life who's of a fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius male or female energy okay um, now some of you this could be a fire sign person as well um, some of you might be thinking about how to fix your person if there's a return and uh, Virgo no 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 we aren't here trying to like collect projects no um, show me this king of wands what's going on okay all right so some of you are really focused on okay helping somebody is what I feel maybe you are uh, you, you work in a bank or something to do with money. You're trying to help someone get up back on their feet. Virgo, I feel like you are so detached. You know, you're just so detached. Some of you might just be like accepting that somebody left you out in the cold and, or having a hard time accepting that and just focusing on what you need to do for yourself at this time okay some of you are just truly bossing up with that king of or that fire energy where you in october i see you really taking a leadership role in your life um being courageous being confident um making some bold moves especially in october some of you are just like really getting your finances and your money. Of course, Virgo, that's always your priority. Getting your finances in order, working on your money, okay? Trying to keep your shit together before a tower, everything comes crashing down. Virgo, you're like, some of you are just in survival mode um, in October with this tower. It's kind of like... You're trying not to go broke. I know there's a lot going on in the world right now financially. Um, you're trying not to go broke. You're trying to keep things from falling apart. These are your priorities. If it's not like your external, paying your bills, taking care of all your priorities, it's just definitely trying to keep your head from exploding at this point and, and just, you know, taking things in stride in October to deal with whatever's going on in your life. Let me see. Okay. Wow. Ten of cups in the reverse. Yeah. Some of you are just in acceptance mood. Like, okay. Ten of cups reversed. This something's, something's done. It's not going anywhere. Um, whether it is or not, or will later, uh, or will be in the extended reading, we'll find out. But at this point and through the month of October, you're basically in this place like, wow, it's a lot of trouble, single, empty nest kind of energy, broken marriage, a um, lot, of, lot of struggle and problems in this connection. And you know what, Virgo, some of you might be just doing your everyday grind, building, building, building while grieving or while accepting that something is done okay yeah two swords Virgo's like i ain't, i don't want to hear nothing <laughs> Virgo's like i do not want to hear anything i'm blocking everyone out uh could even be this person i'm i'm not paying attention i'm staying on my own here with the two of swords you know um I'm, I'm making compromises for myself, you know, um, but I'm not going to compromise my heart for someone who is or a relationship that isn't going to go anywhere. So you definitely see how she has her arms crossed. You're in you're coming into balance for sure. And and I feel like some of you are like, oh, you're going to send me one signal. Well, I'm going to send you two and let you know, hey, I'm still here and I'm still kicking and I'm good. Maybe a little bit of spite, maybe, for 
for some. Um, but definitely trusting your intuition and her arms are crossed. So it's like your heart, you've got somebody here trying to open themselves up and Virgo's like, nope, can't come in because you've got stuff you're sorting out, trying to get clarity here within yourself. And also I feel like you're, you're, so you're in the process of making a decision, which means you're still undecided about something. Um, it's not time for you to decide about any relationships, whether to go back or return or go forward or, or do whatever. It's just like, no, right now I got to get take care of my business and everything going on. I just kind of feel like you're blocking that, okay? And you have the lover. So, yeah, that's what I was saying. Um, you're undecided about a love relationship and perhaps with this person does that mean that you don't love the person no it just means that i feel like some of you made a choice in your heart to go towards this person at one point and it was one-sided at least maybe i'm not saying that it was one-sided i'm just saying the message is i feel your energy is like you know maybe you're trying to forget about that or block it out of your your mind space but you intuitively know deep down inside that this is your twin flame and you might be in separation with well you are you're in separation with this person and and i feel like for some of you it's really just a case of you know let the cards fall where they may or let the chips <laughs> the cards let the chips fall where they may if it's meant to be it will work itself out somehow some way i mean i feel like you're just trying to keep yourself together before that tower comes down because you are just kind of cushion the fall you're just trying to cushion the fall um some of you feel like it's a tower it's already happening you know and you want to explode or it just came out of the blue or it was a, totally unexpected. Let me see what the love message is here for you, Virgo. Okay, well, you've got new love coming in first. A new person stirs your romantic feelings in October. Um, that might be, maybe some of you are undecided about a new relationship. Okay, that could be a new love right here. And you kind of like, oh, you got to decide. Going within and trusting your gut if you want to pursue a new relationship is something's not working, okay? Um, and I feel like this person, they know that there will be somebody else in your life. They're aware of that. I mean, Virgo, um, you got something special about you. And I feel like this person feels that way. They know it. Whatever their fear and insecurity you know, it's not your job to make people feel better about themselves. Um, they have people have to learn how to love themselves while you have to love yourself. And if somebody is just extremely lacking in confidence, I mean, no matter how much you build up someone's confidence, if they don't agree or accept it or believe in themselves, they all your energy will just be completely drained you know um and some of you I, I do feel like there's if there if there isn't new love right now there is a new love prospect coming in for you before the month's end let me see yeah it's gonna be very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now and i feel like for some of you virgos you really need to get clear is this thing from the past really just ever gonna work out is it? I mean, for some of you, it's been 20 years. And if somebody doesn't know by that time, or even after a year, yeah, I could see if there's like healing that needs to be done. But if someone isn't even trying to, if you're both not working on healing and repairing a relationship, you know, at some time, people, you know, you got to put caps on things or else you'll lose years and years and years. So some of you got to get yourselves in this decision. Like, are you still hanging on to hope? Um, which I like to say, you know, you're drugged out on hopium. Be careful. Um, bloody stumps. Somebody's got to come in, you know, with those bloody stumps. They can't be breadcrumbing. They can't just be showing up every now and then and saying, you know, oh, 
you know, little indirect messages or doing this little tactic trick of, you know, that light lighthouse, you know, shining that light so you, you know, be drawn like a moth to a flame. No, they, they got to, like, do something. And, and a lot of you are just kind of in this spot. Now, I know, know some of you are not. I know some of you are like, oh, forget all the rest of that reading. There's new love coming in very soon. Um, but you're going to be presented with a choice, a decision, which is what this card is, the lovers, a decision about moving forward with someone. Okay, let me see what your love messages are here. Okay, abundance. So Virgo, you've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. And if you're not feeling that, you will be in October. Everything that you've been doing, if you count, start counting your blessings. Get in this place of gratitude. All right, there will be chemistry with someone new here. The attraction you will feel is mutual. I know some of you might be in this position um, they're saying where you don't think you'll ever be attracted to anyone the way you were your other person. That's not true. That is not true. Um, that is not true. That twin flame thing, there's only one, but I feel like for you, Virgo, that might be a fear for some of you that the next person you're not going to feel, or you're never going to have that. You will, Virgo. You will have that attraction with somebody else again it happens to everybody um we may have one person that we just are all like um you know super super attracted to but you know it does fade after a while till it's like no longer affecting you or it doesn't have a hold on you anymore and somebody new definitely there'll be chemistry and this is a soulmate so i love this this is beautiful um your soulmate loves accepts and respects you unconditionally but they're not your soul well maybe they are your soulmate you just haven't met them yet but i feel like this is a nice relationship with somebody new coming in it could be gemini um <laughs> um it could be a virgo right with the lovers which is a gemini uh, mercury rule card so let's see if we can get a couple of chinese signs i'm gonna take a look oh interesting this card just flew out the five of cups in the reverse so virgo for you that's like a, a huge sign that there's forgiveness okay your hope for new love will return again you're gonna definitely in october feel like you've got a, another shot at love there's a new chance to get those good feelings back again okay so you have the tiger the goat the pig dragon pig again the monkey the rat the ox one more and the snake okay um and don't forget i'm gonna do your extended reading you know what i'm just gonna do charms today um but yeah there'll be a link underneath the video to go to your extended reading to find out for those of you um, who want to know about the past situation, if that actually, if something different is going to come out of that, because remember, you are leaving this, you are leaving this reading with the, the final card with a decision and a choice you're going to have to make here. Um, well, yeah, <laughs> some of you might already have that decision made, <laughs> but there's definitely going to be this, you know, hmm, a possible uh, repair. Let me hold this up. Uh, possible repair of a relationship. Okay. There's our marriage or something that broke up. There is a possible, uh, rekindling. Okay. All right. Okay. We've got a rose and a black cloud. Yep. I told you in the beginning of the reading that somebody had a black cloud over them a lot of heartbreak and pain and i feel like that was that person but there's also a rose here so this represents blooming love oh maybe somebody's name is rose but a blooming of love um a sense of peace you know understand that this black cloud produces rain and that rain nourishes that rose so those tears that somebody and I do feel like this past person is in tears 
or they are having um, teary-eyed moments because of something, a heartbreak of some sort, I feel like that is in healing this person and infusing that rose, that love within their heart and they're just struggling. But like I said, I'm going to look at your extended reading to see that reading's only going to be $11, 11 cents. I'm going to look at that reading to see how that's going to turn out. If you're not interested, great. You've got new love coming in October. So I'm just going to leave that there. I hope that... <laughs> I hope that wasn't too long, Virgo. So I will see you all here tomorrow. Don't forget the link for the extended video is below this video, right at the top, okay? So I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.